guys, welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOTS. It's Jason here, and we've got a special guest today, and it's my dad, Charles. Hello. And uh, on the last video, if you haven't seen it, take a look, we brought some uh, eastern white cedar uh, over to my dad's place, and we're going to put it through his new sawmill, and today's the day. So uh, we'll probably show you a few shots of the new sawmill. It's, uh, it's a Valley Mobile sawmill from Pascal Metals. It's a big red model. And Dad will tell you a little bit more about that as we uh, get things up and running. We're just going to take our time today, see what the cedar saw is out like, and uh, try and enjoy the day. So stick around. Okay, so we got to do a little uh, maintenance here before we get going. Dad likes to grease everything first thing in the morning before he starts up. We've got the, uh, the water jug filled up. We've got some Dawn dish liquid soap put in there uh, just to add some lubrication to the blade as we're sawing. But I wanted to show you guys this. I told you before that we're Honda guys here, and this has got a really nice 390cc Honda motor on it. It's electric start, and uh, I think it's going to last for years to come just because of that. Okay, while he gets the uh, sawmill ready to start up, I'm going to bring over the Cranman log trailer and the tractor and get a couple logs put on it. We're going to try and get some four foot boards out of this little piece.
Hello, Jason. Okay, this is a Pascal machine. It's made in Canada, and that was one of the reasons I bought it. But just two or three things that I like about it. It's got the integrated tow boards. Uh, several of those, it'll cut stuff 30 inches diameter and 21 feet long. It's got uh, one hand operation for tightening against your boards. Uh, inside here, one hand operation, tighten and loosen the, the blade. And the plywood here is in case the blade comes off, you don't dull it on the steel. You can see where I did it once already, just practicing. Anyway, on the motor. She's a good working outfit most of the time. You take your time and don't screw up. It's uh, got something a lot of the mills don't have. This little thing right here, if you're coming up to one of your guides, that won't let you cut it off. That little stop will stop you. So there's a lot of safety things on it that I like and a lot of little things that make your work easier. How many board feet have you run through it? Oh, I don't know. I've got, uh, I got about 11. 11 hours on the machine, but I, I run through enough to build a greenhouse and I got some left over and we did a little saw in here this morning and uh, the cedar was quite crooked so we didn't really get a lot of board feet out show, but I got a nice bunch of kindling. Yes, you did. <laughs> and there's my nephew, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. How's it going? Don't forget Tiny. Okay. And yes, he wants to have Tiny in the video here. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is Dad's show dog. Her name is Tiny. She's about two years old. She's 130 pounds, and she's a cross between an English Mastiff and a St. Bernard. A quick 20 seconds. When I go walking every morning, she goes with me, and she picks cans and plastic bottles, brings them over and drops them into my bag. The other morning, I was going down by the railroad track. She was gone in the woods quite a while, and I turned around and wondered where she was, and here she come with a can can was full, never been open. Had a little rust on the top, so she's getting better now. She brings me fresh ones. She's that, a winner. That's quite a hound dog. <laughs>
So usually when I when I'm cutting lumber, I'm cutting my own. I saw saw it myself in the woods, blow downs and stuff. And I'm usually quite fussy about getting it straight. And I haven't had a lot of people want me to saw anything for them. But first guy that brought stuff in has got quite a few crooks in it. But anyway, we we salvaged some lumber and got me some some kindling. So it was a good day. Yeah, it turned out to a nice little load of lumber here. And I don't know what we're gonna build with this, if anything, but the next step is to take it over and stick it in the building and let it dry out. And uh, then we'll see if we have a project for this lumber. But uh, like I always say, if you like these videos, guys, and you wanna see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the videos with your friends and family, and come on back and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain ACOTs are gonna be up to next. We'll see you in the next one.